What's up guys, welcome back to Austin Makes Stuff. Over the past few weeks, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen me using my new Graco Magnum 257025 Project Painter Plus Paint Sprayer. I put this paint sprayer through its paces over the past few weeks, and today, I'm gonna tell you what I think about it, and if I'd purchase it again, so stay tuned. Now, I bought this paint sprayer for $215 on Amazon. Although, right now, at the time of making this video, it's currently selling for $200. I've included a link in the description below so you can check the price for yourself. Now, I've seen it go on sale for as low as $185, so keep your eyes out. Full disclosure, this is only the second paint sprayer that I've ever used, and the first one that I've ever owned. Jumping into the review, I wanna talk about a few different topics that I think are important to reviewing this product. It'll be the, my first impressions of the product, the quality of the paint sprayer, the reliability, and how much time does it save me. The sprayer comes with everything you need to get started painting a room other than the paint and the masking tape. It comes with the motor, the hoses, and the gun. Check out my unboxing video in the description below to see what all comes in the box. I have to say, right out of the gate, this paint sprayer was very easy to get started with. It was very straightforward as far as how to get started using it and the steps that you needed to go through in order to get to painting. I also did a video on how to get started using the Project Painter Plus, and I left a link in the description below for that as well, so make sure you check that video out. Overall, my first impressions of the product were great. Now, as far as quality, this thing is built really well. The motor is plastic, but I don't see any signs of it not being strong enough to stand up to being thrown around at all. The hose is also good quality, although sometimes I did have trouble with it kind of curling up on me and tangling a bit, but that was probably just my fault walking around uh, and twisting it up. The gun itself is metal and is a very good quality. It was actually sturdy enough that I kind of found myself a little careless with it and I would throw it around on occasion. I'm not saying that that's what you should do with it. I'm just saying it seemed to hold up pretty well to the abuse that I gave it. Overall, this product is very good quality for the money that I spent on it. As far as reliability goes, um, this is kind of where I found my first stumbling block. There were occasions where I had to troubleshoot the whole rig to get it working again. For instance, on one occasion, I couldn't get the machine primed. I turned it off, back on, back off, and on again and still didn't have any luck. It really kind of only started back up by sheer luck, and I'm not really sure what I did to get it going again. I haven't had this issue pop back up, although on other occasions, the gun would clog, which I know is normal, and there's a feature for the tip that unclogs the gun itself, but on more than one occasion, I couldn't even get the tip to function properly uh, to unclog the gun. In fact, the only way that I could get it fixed was to get some channel locks and turn the whole end of the gun to almost relieve some pressure before the tip could be unclogged. Now this was disappointing, but honestly, after I got used to it, it was really a non-issue. I would just grab the channel locks and uh, relieve the pressure. And this all brings me to my last criteria of how much time this product saves. Let's face it, the whole reason anyone would buy a product like this is because they expect it to save them time working. Personally, I've spent hundreds of hours painting in my life and it's one of my least favorite things to do. With this sprayer, I have to say, painting is a joy. As long as I can get the room masked off quickly, I can paint an entire room in 30 to 45 minutes. That would take me hours with the standard roller. Now don't get me wrong, when you start painting, it looks like paint is coming out of the can super fast and it looks like the can is gonna empty before you're done. And it is coming out of the can really fast, but you're also getting the room painted really fast. The little inconveniences of the clogging on occasion are completely offset by the fact that I can get a huge project that used to take me hours done in just minutes. If you're like me and are buying this because you think it will save you time, I have really good news for you. This product will save you a ton of time. So I'd say in conclusion, do yourself a favor and buy this paint sprayer. I've left a link in the description to check it out. If you're on the fence about the cost, I promise the money you spend up front on this, it will save you that much value and time back within the first couple of sessions. So instead of wasting a whole weekend painting, buy this thing. Finish on Friday and spend Saturday and Sunday doing whatever you want to do. Thanks again for watching Austin Make Stuff. Make sure you subscribe by hitting the button below. I put out new videos every Sunday and I will see you next time. Do yourself a favor by the sprayer.